Hey guys, Riley here with Dark Arrow. Today's video is a quick FAQ or frequently asked question video. We get a lot of questions in our YouTube comments and other social media pages. So we picked a couple of the top ones and we're gonna answer them here. So Keegan, Riv and I are each gonna take two questions and give you the rundown. So let's get into it. Okay, first question. Can I put a different engine on the Dark Arrow 1? That's a great question. Uh, in short, no. So there's a lot of great engines out there that we could have chosen. And at the end of the day, we had to pick one that we could design the airframe specifically around to fully optimize everything about the plane and simplify our lives from a design standpoint. And that's why we went with the UL Power 520IS. The engine has a really good power to weight ratio. It's reliable, it's modern. This is the engine you're gonna be seeing on the Dark Arrow 1. All right, Keegan, so question for you. What are we doing to address galvanic corrosion in the Dark Arrow 1? This is a question that we actually get asked quite a bit. And it's something that we've uh, been looking at from the very beginning. But basically we address it in one of two ways. Either we electrically isolate metal from carbon fiber, or we use metals that are actually compatible with carbon fiber itself. We plan on doing a dedicated video on this actually, because we get this question so much. Um, so look forward to a future video about galvanic corrosion and how it's prevented in the Dark Arrow 1. All right, Riley, this question is for you. We get this question, I think, quite a bit. I've seen it a couple times in our social media. Why does the Dark Arrow 1 not have winglets? That's a good question. Uh, we're actually working on a dedicated video to talk about that, why we don't have winglets on the wingtips. If you're not familiar, a winglet is basically a little vertical wing component here out at the wingtip. Our wing is upside down, so it would be pointed this direction. Uh, and it's there to try to reduce induced drag, which is the drag that comes about as a byproduct of producing lift. It's basically the energy that goes into producing the little tornadoes or vortices that come off the wingtips. Our objective is to minimize the total drag on the airframe. So there's two components, your induced drag and then also your parasitic drag, which is related to the shape of the airplane. So you sum those two up and we're trying to minimize that total drag component. When you install winglets, it does reduce the induced drag, but because you're adding more surface area out on the wing tip here, you're also increasing your parasitic drag. What we found is that for the uh, operating point on the aircraft that we are trying to optimize, uh, the reduction in induced drag ends up getting canceled out by the increase in parasitic drag. So there wasn't a significant advantage uh, drag-wise to including winglets. Uh, however, there is a disadvantage in that you have more weight and more manufacturing complication to uh, manufacture the winglets. So yeah, overall, no significant drag advantage to installing winglets. Hey River, another question that we got was, how is Dark Arrow funded? That's a good question. So in short, the company is all self-funded by the three of us, Riley, Keegan, and myself. And the way we did that is we just save money for a number of years. We worked in industry as engineers, and then we quit our jobs and poured it all into this. So if you guys want to help us out on the side, uh, we have an apparel store where you can buy some merch. <laughs> Hi, Maze. If you guys want to help us out, we have an apparel store. The link to that is in the description below. Hey, Keegan. Hey. I got a question for you. Yep. Is the Dark Arrow 1 designed for aerobatics? The Dark Arrow 1 was actually designed for high-speed, long-range, cross-country travel. That was the mission of the aircraft from the very beginning. If we would have designed it for aerobatics, there's a number of things we would have done differently from a systems and aerodynamics perspective. So, no the aircraft is not designed for aerobatic flight. Okay, Riley, last question. Yes. What's in the kit and how do I receive it? Excellent question. The Dark Air One kit is gonna include the carbon fiber airframe structure. So everything you see here, the uh, wing, fuselage, horizontal stabilizer and vertical stabilizer, as well as the landing gear, engine mount, canopy and the hardware for the control system. The engine, propeller, uh, upholstery, wheels and brakes, and avionics. Those are purchased separately from manufacturers that we are partnered with. As far as how you're gonna receive the kit, we're thinking two main sub-assemblies. One would be the wing kit, the other would be the fuselage kit. Uh, the wing kit is gonna include all the flying surfaces and control surfaces. So the wing, the flaps and ailerons, as well as the 
horizontal stabilizer and elevator, and then the vertical stabilizer and rudders. The fuselage kit would include the uh, fuselage structure as well as the uh, landing gear, engine mount, canopy, cowling and spinner, as well as the hardware for the control system. So that's the Dark Arrow 1 kit as well as how you would receive it. Okay guys, I know we didn't get to every question that everyone's asked ever, but uh, I'm sure there's lots more that you're wondering about the Dark Arrow 1. Let's leave those questions in the comments below and we'll do our best to get to them in a timely fashion. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.